Hi guys, it's Zoe here. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna do a makeup, no makeup look. I can't explain to you exactly what that means. So a lot of times girls ask me, Zoe, how do I look myself but still made up, if that makes sense. So yourself with a little edge, a little actionist. Nine times all the time, that was me. I love makeup. Like This whole dresser next to me proves it. But I still like to look naturally pretty. I love blush, mascara, eyeshadow, lipstick, lip stains. The whole works, but I still like to like Zoe. So today I can show you how I do my, I would call it like an everyday look because on days that I do wear makeup, I don't wear makeup every single day, is I just want to add a little something to my face to stick with what I do. Hope this is easy to you, please follow along. I'll leave any questions down below and let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I always, always, always start with, like if you can leave home without mascara, eyeshadow, lipstick, all that stuff. If my brows are not done, I am not ready to go through your door. So I use, as of right now, Spiked by MAC, their brow pencil. It's very, very thin. Why is this wet? Questions. Trying to, at least part me. This bang situation. So my face is clean. Today I tinted my brows, so that's with a little darker than usual. Um, actually, any given day, this is fine for me, but for the sake of this video, let me just show you what I do. So, take my brow pencil. Maybe I should do it this way. Get it together, Zoe. Okay, so for my brows, when I still want them to look natural, I just go on the bottom part. Just go on your pencil and filling any part so that's sparsy. For me, that is usually the top part of my brow. I just have to do this to make it even to the other one. I'm just gonna go in with that. I'm gonna try and look this way. Yeah, man, it took me a long time for me to get my brows right. It's been a couple years coming. <laughs> But they're finally doing what I want them to do. And then I'll just clean that underneath here. I feel like, even when I don't feel like wearing makeup and I do my brows, once I at least fill in these spots and put some brow gel over them, I feel like a whole new one. I am gonna like, brows just, they could just totally change your face. I don't care what nobody says. So I didn't have to do much today. So those are filled in. Then I'm gonna take my concealing palette. Ah! This one is from MAC too. I always use the orange color here. It's between this and NC45 I use. Um, so I take a small angle brush like this and then I wet it. This is not what says in the bottle, this is um, just water. But I just replaced it because I like the size of the scissors for traveling. So I like to wet it because I find that if I just apply it straight from the palette, it's very thick and it goes on kind of tiny. So to share it out, I just um, mix it with some water and it makes the application go on a lot smoother. So I go right underneath my brow. And days that my brows are not done, this cleans up the brow hair. Just go with a pretty light hand. Um, like I said, we're going for like that naturally pretty look, so you don't need too much. So I'm gonna apply it first and then blend it out afterwards, don't worry. So when I apply the concealer, I take a wet beauty blender and then I just blend out um, that line underneath there. Make sure your beauty blender is wet. If you use a dry, beauty blender or any kind of sponge to blend or anything. I guarantee you just drag it against your skin. <laughs> and I like to carry the color down to the um, mobile lid area. If there's any discoloration there for any reason, if I left like mascara on and the following morning it's smudge or sorry mom, that happens sometimes. Um, it evens out the complexion of my eyes. Just gonna add a little bit more. And it really brightens up the eye area. And that's all you need. So now to set the brows brow gel. This one is from Maybelline. It's actually a clear mascara, but I use it as brow gel. Because they, oh, I don't know why they don't sell the, um, the brow gel anymore. So this works just as well as the same, basically the same thing. So I just trace my brows and this will lock the color on here is into place so they don't move around throughout the day. Especially in Miami, it's very hot. When you sweat and you don't set your um, makeup products, they tend to run. So this helps prevent it. And I like to flip the hairs at the start of my brow upwards so that it's still looks so, like blocky, you know what I mean? We looking good, we looking alright, we looking alright. Okay, so the brows are done. Brows done, as fast as that. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and set the color on top of my um, eyelids now. So I'm just taking my face powder and this is Matte's Mineralized Skin Finish in Deep Dark with a flat shader brush like this. And then just trace it over the eyelid area. I go right up to the brow too and it adds a nice wash of color over the eye. And it still looks natural, you know what I mean? Alright, so now to go into the priming, 
I'm just gonna take a tapered blending brush. When I mean tapered is somewhat long and skinny like that. And then we're taking a medium brown color. And this is, well it's actually pretty light, a light brown color. This is from Sephora's Mixology palette, that's what it's called, right? Yeah. And this is a really nice neutral palette if anyone's into stuff like that. Take some of that and just go right here. Actually just remember to use, trace it into the crease of your eye. Like I say, you're only using a little bit on the outer third. And you're just mainly using this to place it. Then get a fluffy, where is it? My fluffy brush like this. And this is going to diffuse the color out. So I added the color as opposed to just putting the um the face powder over my eye because why? <laughs> to add definition, right? So my eyes don't look so flat. Somebody's got some serious brain farts and it's happened in worst moments. I remember this time I was at this um, event and I was talking to this pretty influential person in the fashion industry and I'm gonna call their name. And I think they had asked me something like where I went to school or something like that and I cannot remember where I went to school. So just they're talking all in my face. You already know I got accents so so embarrassing. Anyway, so you already see what that did. I hope you can see because you like coming in here kind of weird. I had to close the blinds because it was too bright. So now you have some dimension to your eyes. Now, at least in the crease area, you're going to move on with a black. Or you can use brown if you don't want such of a harsh color. Um, eye pencil, a small pencil brush, and just trace on the top of your upper lash line. I like to stop in the outer third in the same mixology palette. I can take this. It looks like a charcoal grey colour and just place that, well not really place, blend that um, the liner out with that. So what this is actually going to do is give a little hazier look and also accentuate your lashes. It's going to make your lashes look a lot thicker. So after that, so just to get underneath your eyes, go right underneath my eyes with that same concealer again. Then we go back in with that same brown shadow, the one that we placed in the outer third of our crease and just trace it right underneath the lower lash line. I really want to do something my lashes a lot for this. Um, it's going to help open up my eyes a lot more, make me look more bright-eyed and awake. So I'm just taking a mascara. This one I'm using is the Better Than Sex one from Benefit. Is Benefit right? Sorry, woo, Too Faced. And just brush it out. I swear mascara, just do everything and more. And this mascara is very good. Okay, cool beans, cool beans, cool beans. All right, so that first amount of concealer that we applied, um, like I said, that was just a little bit and that's for the base. I'm gonna go ahead and move. I'm done with the eyes, by the way. <laughs> I'm moving on to the rest of the face. Like I said, this is pretty quick. Um, so carry that color right underneath the shadow and bring it down to your cheeks in like a triangle. It's gonna also help bounce more light into your face. I'm going down my nose with it. I've been liking orange concealers more than the yellow ones. I don't know, I use a more natural finish. I'll do um, the yellower ones if I want a more dramatic look. But I feel like the orange or brown skin really neutralizes any blemishes um, in a more subtle way. The yellow is a little bit more dramatic. This is your make or break moment in um, making your face that natural. Just take your time and let out. And the concealer you're going to use. For the all over color on my face, I take in Man's BB Cream. And I like BB creams for lighter, more natural looking wear because it's not as full coverage as a foundation. Bad thing about BB creams is that don't wear them if you're going out and you're taking pictures because BB creams um, like that one, they have usually have SPS in them. And SPS have that ingredient. I want to say it's titanium dioxide to protect your skin. And it has that has a white cast to it. So if you take a picture, you can see this white thing on your face. So only use this in um, day wear, I would recommend. But I really like this one because it's extremely lightweight and it gets the job done in terms of covering any little blemishes you may have or just um, evening out the skin tone on a whole. I'm not using, using any more product, I'm just using whatever is left on my brush. 
If you're looking over here, it's because I'm looking at the laptop, which is connected to the camera, so I can see what I'm doing. So the time I record a whole video, right? And I had this big glob of lipstick on my teeth the entire time. Okay, that looks natural. You would think I wouldn't apply any setting powder with a natural like this, but me personally, I am extremely oily, so if I don't throughout the day, I just look too greasy. I usually apply this powder every single day, even if I'm not wearing a lot of makeup. Pretty simple um, reason of oil control, not so much to highlight or anything like that. It just soaks up all the oil and helps me stay matte longer. I can get greasy regardless, but it helps me to stay matte longer. And it has a nice finish to it, I like it. So I'm not even letting that sit on, I'm just going to brush that away. My face powder. Nice, pretty natural finish that leaves. I'm going to use Format by MAC to highlight. And this is a very nice, warm, slightly glowy blush to just smile to find the apples in your cheeks and then blend outwards you see what a nice pretty color that is this is one of my favorite blushes I'm like blend it out a little bit the lips so we gonna do for the lips and lips I'm taking that blush from Iman and Max Spice is the gloss I like to apply lip liners before I apply any, not even just glosses, any lip color because um, my lips aren't that defined and they're pretty, they're pretty um, petite lips. So they almost need like a, I would say like a border. I get like a really stark color, it doesn't like just like plop a color on top and it doesn't like, it don't blend into the skin nicely so lip liners help create a nice transition. Now this in the center. Scratch that. I can just go in with my um I love a little bit of the liner on. Um that was a little too dark for what I was going for. So I'm applying that same concealer on my lips, lighten the color a little bit, and then the gloss. I think it should work now. I think this is what I want to do. Yes! Ladies and gentlemen, that's the finished look. So you know, I obviously could tell you wear makeup, but it's just not that much makeup. I think it's very appropriate if you're just going on a job interview, if you're just going to church, if you want to look a little like yourself with a little extra pinch. I think this is a look for you. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please click here to see my last video and give it a thumbs up if you guys like the ninja bun. Um, so get, leave a comment there if you haven't already. And let me know below what's the next video you want to see. People are asking for that look I did in the ninja bun video with the gems on my face by saving that for my Kaduma look for Barbados. So that should be coming up within the next two to three weeks or so. Um, again, thank you again for watching. I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.